Hello everyone, welcome to this session of Maths. Students, do you know what are the different branches of mathematics? The most popular ones are algebra and geometry. So, today I am going to tell you about a branch called as trigonometry. Trigonometry comes from three Greek letters. What are they? Tree. In other words, tree means try. Okay? Try means three. Gone. What does gone mean? Gone means sides. Heard of pentagon? Heard of hexagon? What are these? Pentagon means five sided figure. Hexagon means six sided figure. So, gone means sides. And what is metry? Metry means to measure. So, what is the meaning of trigonometry? Trigonometry basically means measurements of three sides of a triangle. Now, students, so we cannot study trigonometry unless or until we study about a right angle triangle. You remember you studied about three triangles, the acute angle triangle, the obtuse angle triangle and the right angle triangle, right? So, trigonometry cannot be studied without the right angle triangle, right? Uh, can you give me any instances in the real life where you can see a right angle triangle? Any guesses? Let me see, I will give you one situation like that. Suppose this is this boy on this ground, he is flying kite. He is flying kite, right? In this particular situation in real life, can you identify any type of right angle here? No? Let me see, let me tell you. Can I make this string of the kite as a one side of the triangle? This becomes one side of the triangle. This ground becomes another side of the triangle, right? And the height or of the kite from the ground becomes another side of the triangle. What do we have over here? We have a right angle triangle and I'd like I told you before in trigonometry we always require to find a right angle triangle. So, what is, how do we indicate a right angle triangle? By this square. So, this is a right angle triangle. Let us study about another case or another real life situation. Let us see, we have a building, we have a building on the ground, there is the sun far away shining. Now, the shadow of the building falls on the ground. How is shadow going to be formed? Is it going to be formed like this? No. How is it going to be formed? The shadow will be formed like this. You agree? This is the shadow of the building. Can you see a right angle in this particular situation? Uh -uh. Right, you are guessing, you are guessing. At least try and identify one side of the right angle triangle. There you are, right. This becomes the first side of the triangle. This becomes the second side of the triangle. Where will be the third side be? Obviously the ray of the sun. So, this becomes the third side of the triangle. So, here we have a right angle triangle, right. So, we saw right angle triangles can be situ can be seen or identified in the real life situation. This is the basic of trigonometry. So, what did we study in today's session? We studied what is the meaning of trigonometry, where is this word derived from? And we studied how to identify a right, right angle triangle in real life situation. So, in the next session, we are going to talk about trigonometric ratios. Till then, bye bye and see you.